leaders who they're really good at belonging. Like they just are very skilled at building culture and they're well-intentioned because they want to create a culture. But oftentimes those same leaders are not recognizing the importance of uniqueness. So they hire on culture fit. If you don't fit the culture, you know, maybe you leave because it's not comfortable. And the goal is actually to create a strong culture of belonging. But if you don't also layer in the uniqueness part that like you can belong and still be yourself, then what you end up with is a very homogenous group. Remember, clarity is not certainty. It is not like this closed-minded conviction that I've nailed it and have it right. Clarity is a sense of being able to move forward and be productive despite your doubts. You know, science is what gives me hope because that science and data and the, the amount of, of things we can do now with our technology, you know, we've never been more powerful, if you will. Uh, now, you know, the sort of forces of darkness are everywhere, if you will, but, but we've never had this kind of capability. Budgeting is about making sure you understand what for you is a quality life, what for, where you see quality, right? Where do you see it? What do you assign quality to? What do you assign value to? It only takes one brave leader to tell their truth and to be a little bit vulnerable and expose that, that then opens up the floodgates for everyone else and gives everyone else permission. I read a tremendous amount. That really for me is always the secret of originality. That's my playground and my cubicle. That's how I get all of my research. But it's also a lot of times I get my most important ideas from novels and memoirs and things that don't seem to have anything to do with my subject. If you are the business owner and you are you have employees, you have to it's not forever, but you have to know how to do everything yourself. People who work for you see you doing the drudgery work and the, the grunt work. They will respect you more because they know you've also done it. So you're not just like swanning in and saying, everyone work harder and then, and then going home. When I'm in the classroom, to not see myself as an authority figure who simply conveys knowledge and information to students, but to actually empower the students to think for themselves, empower the students to shift their perspectives, empower them to hang a question mark on things that they take for granted and empower them to create a better tomorrow.